Here, the Prophet ﷺ, as in Bukhari and Muslim, he is emphasizing upon this uh, issue. He said, whoever stands in, stands in prayer in Laylatul Qadr, while nourishing his faith with self-evaluation, check yourself, and you are seeking by standing the Laylatul Qadr, Allah's blessings and reward, expecting reward from Allah, will have all of his previous sins forgiven. All your sins that you committed and perpetrated will be washed away and will be forgiven. What is the merit of this night? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in his book, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Verily, we have sent this Quran down on the night of Al-Qadr. And in another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to the same layla, to the same night, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil mubarakah. So the Layla Mubarakah is the Laylatul Qadr. That's why the Quran explains each other. So whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this is the best way of explaining the Quran, if you want to understand. That you explain the Quran with the Quran or with the Sunnah of the Prophet. So Laylatul Qadr, it is the Layla Mubarakah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily, verily, we have sent this Quran down on a blessed night. On a blessed night. Verily, we always warn the people, warn the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sends messengers and prophets as warners to convey the message. So no one will come on the day of judgment and start saying to Allah, well, I didn't know. No one came to me. No. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah Al-Mulk, كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتْهَا أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just. So no one will have an excuse on the day of resurrection. No one at all. So the angels, they rebuke them. Didn't Allah send warners to you? They said, yes, but we didn't listen to them. We didn't listen to them. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers and prophets as warners to the people. And this blessed night, the Prophet ﷺ said, because in the end, salamun hiya hatta matla al-fajr. This uh, night is a blessed night. What will happen on that night? The Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic narration, عدد الملائكة في الأرض كعدد نجوم السماء. The number of angels on earth on that night, as many as the number of the stars. That's why no shooting star will happen on that night. The shayateen will not be able to go up because the angels are going up and down. So the angels on that night on the earth as many as the number of the stars. That is the best, the, the, the Laylatul Qadr which is the blessed night. Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu reported that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ramadan has come to you which is we mentioned in the beginning of our series and what is relevant to the Laylatul Qadr is the end of the hadith where he said there in it, there is in it in that hadith one night, one night, that is better than 1,000 months. 1,000 months. Imagine, what, if you calculate it, so only one night. So I should not miss it. The whole, if I work hard, as the Prophet ﷺ used, to tight his waist, that means metaphorically working hard. Shadd al that means metaphorically he's working hard for the, in the, during the last 10 nights. And this is the reward. That one night is equivalent to 1,000 months. So why should I miss this? Why should I miss this? This is very important. And he who is denied its goodness is truly deprived of goodness. If you are deprived of this goodness of this night, that means you didn't pray that night. Or you were not, you were not in, in the masjid that night. Then you are a loser. You lost a lot of things. So that's why the last ten nights, I have to get myself ready, dedicate myself only for ibadah. In order not to miss this, this night. Which is Laylat Al-Qadr. Uh, of course, which night? Uh, nobody knows. And there is a secret behind it. There is a wisdom. There is a wisdom. That's why you find some Muslims... They only dedicate themselves and they work hard on the 27th night. As if it is 100% 27th. So 21st, 23rd, tw no, they are not there in the masjid, for instance. But on the 27th, 
you will not find a place for your foot. Right? Muslims are, Muslims, the masjids are packed and full. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a wisdom. He wanted us to dedicate ourselves throughout the month of Ramadan. So in Bukhari, in Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu and Muslim, in Sahih Muslim, he said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa seek it, seek it this night, on the last ten nights, on the last ten nights. If one of you is weak, let him not miss at least the last seven nights. The last seven nights. And the knowledge of it, as we said, it is hidden. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu said, uh, this is in Bukhari, he said, I was coming to tell you about the time of Laylatul Qadr. He came out and his intention was to inform the Sahaba. What about the Laylatul Qadr? When so and so disputed, see? Why we are deprived, why we didn't know now, why we don't know. It's time because two Muslims, they argued. Two Muslims, they argued. Two Muslims, they disputed. He said, uh, because so and so disputed the knowledge of this was raised was raised taken and this may be better for you so seek it on the ninth seventh and fifth nights after 20 in the old nights in other words old nights 21st 23rd 25th 27th and 29th 29th so you can see here because two muslims they disputed the prophet allah made his prophet to forget it this means Muslims should not dispute, Muslims should not argue, Muslims should be together. Muslims should not unite upon the truth. Muslims should behave as brotherly. Because if two Muslims see what we, we lost, otherwise it, had, it would have been made known to us. <clears throat> the night of the 27th, which is this is a Muslim, so that's why it moves. Laylatul Qadr moves during the last ten nights, the old ones. And there will never be any contradiction between the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because someone might, someone might pose the question and say, in this hadith they say 27th. It coincided. It happened to be on that night on the 27th. But it doesn't mean that it always it will fall on the 27th. Okay? Because through, while we're going to know the signs of Laylatul Qadr, the signs of Laylatul Qadr, the, uh, which the Prophet ﷺ, uh, uh, mentioned, uh, we are going to mention them. He said, on the morning of the following Laylatul Qadr, the sun rises without rays. The sun rises without rays. Normally, the sun, normally the sun in the morning when it rises, there will be rays. But that night, the night before, the second day, when you can look to the sun and you will find no rays around it. No rays. As if it is just setting. So, we conclude that the previous night was the night of the Qadr. This is one sign. The second sign, it is a moderate night. It's neither cool nor hot. Third, no shooting stars. Shuhub, no shooting stars. And... Uh, we conclude, inshallah, with the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu the dua which he taught to Aisha. Allahumma innaka afuun, tuhibbu al-afwa, fa'afu'ahum. This is what we should repeat through the, the, the night of the Qadr, inshallah, or the last ten nights. May Allah accept our deeds and your deeds, inshallah, and help us, inshallah, not to miss Laylatul Qadr.